High King Tatarian is waiting for you. Please place the Codex before him, and he will continue. It's been a long time since I've been here. Conceived in chaos, birthed in stolen magic, torn from... Treacheries in treacheries, winter is broken. The puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. <laughs> In the East it did begin, as it will end, as it will end. From behind the veil she screams, madness and rage, madness and rage. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fae cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fae who have become something new, and you are a mortal who is free from fate's weave. Gadflow claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This is why Nirolin fears what you might become. This age has seen much change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. You are intertwined with the power in the East. There can be no doubt of that. Your energy reaches back to Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His God holds your answer and the fate of this world. I thank you. And perhaps you can help change our world's fate as well. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, but because you choose to, that is by far a far truer greatness. Admirable, but strength of will cannot see you through this alone. You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand against you. The weave is a puzzle. Each person is a piece. The edges of their fate locking together with the people around them, all performing their duties to form a grand picture. However, you are no longer a puzzle piece. You are a dollop of paint. You cover and redefine the edges of the puzzle pieces you meet. But more dangerously, you repaint the picture of reality itself. Who can trust that your design is better than the original? 
It is the deepest tragedy that our fall should come from our own. Make no mistake, Gadflow is the harbinger of the end of my kind. In fighting him and his army, you will surely spell our doom. For that tragic truth, we forgive you. We are the dreams of warmth and safety, given physical form. But these dreams are endangered by Gadflow in the long winter. Since our kind returned to this world so long ago, it has been my honor to serve as High King of the Summer Court. My rule was always shared with the High King of the Winter Court, until Gadflow arose. Now both of our people are in peril. The Summer and Winter Courts have always ruled the Feylands in harmony, as the seasons wash across the world. But with Gadflow's new god, something changed. The Winter Fey who followed him called themselves Tuatha, and bore a mark of Prismere upon them. Their power has grown, and yet they are diminished. Our cold cousins across the sea. Do not think the Winter Court our enemies, for we love them as family, dismal though they may be. Oh, to walk in their starlit gardens once again, or sip their calming stone tea. But the Tuatha have consumed them, and all of their wonders are lost. I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. If anybody can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around and I was able to make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. All gnome scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research, and apparently Hughes' sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands and Detir. Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might reach Hughes. You're not the only one on the hunt for Hughes. Octien has followed his trail to the Hollowlands in Detir. You'll want to talk to him. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralem's looking for a savior. And Tatarian is looking for a champion. And somehow... You're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. You're right. This won't be easy. The Tuatha have our forces under siege at Mel Senshir, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option, not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Be on your way.